This is everything you ever wanted to know about the Zero X project, a cryptocurrency that has been thrusted into the forefront lately after Coinbase announced listing of this token. Furthermore, it's very notable within the Ethereum ecosystem because it has to do with the trading and swapping of Ethereum tokens. So if you're curious about this project at all and want to learn more, then all you have to do is just keep on watching. Hi everyone, I'm Kevin from Bitcoin for Beginners, here to bring you interesting and informative content with no fluff and no frills. So while you're watching this video, if you find it helpful or interesting at all, then you can support us by smashing that like button and subscribing down below if you haven't already. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so first and foremost, what is 0x on a high level? It is an open source infrastructure protocol, so it's not a decentralized app. The mission is to create a tokenized world where all value can flow freely. I know that sounds kind of vague, but we're going to dive into this. At its core, it's a universal shared order book for decentralized exchanges and a protocol to build DEXs with. And this protocol is free to build on top of, but the dApps that are built on top of it can cost money to the user. So what type of pain points are they trying to solve? Well, a lot of exchanges we see these days are risky and centralized, and they require KYC AML. These have less privacy, they don't let you hold your own private keys, and they're honeypots for hackers. But they do have speed, customer support, and overall good UX. On the other hand, we have decentralized exchanges, which are clunky, slow, illiquid, with bad UX. And we also have an Ethereum ecosystem with many different dApps, each with its own token. That makes it hard to use because you need to manually buy those on exchanges in order to use those dApps. This causes big hassle for the end user and it's bad for mass adoption as you can imagine. So what is the Zero X's solution? Well, they want to improve the user experience of decentralized exchanges via a protocol with off-chain order broadcasting, shared liquidity pools, and order matching. This makes it so that DEXs become more liquid, faster, and seamless to use and can even operate in the background of any wallet or dApp. So the end user like you and I, we don't even need to know what's going on, just that we don't have to manually get things from exchanges and transfer it to a dApp to be able to use it anymore. So how does this all work? Well, first of all, you can do trustless or free point-to-point -point trades in which a user sends a transaction via message like text, Facebook message, email, etc., And then the protocol performs a simple atomic swap between the two different types of tokens. There's also such thing called broadcast orders where you use relayer nodes on the 0x relay network, which is kind of like a second layer lightning network type solution. In this scenario, the makers broadcast the order and then you have the takers which fill the order. Off-chain orders are handled in dedicated or shared liquidity pool order books, which makes it faster, decreases the workload, and makes it cheaper to use in terms of gas than traditional decentralized exchanges. Only the orders that are successfully executed and matched are actually recorded on the blockchain, not every single order that may or may not be matched. So the process end to end, the seller wants to do a trade, sends it to the relayer, which is also called the market maker, who broadcasts it to the liquidity pool, and then a taker matches the order. We're like, okay, this person wants to trade coin X for coin Y. We have coin Y, we're gonna take the trade. And then the swap between coin X and Y is done via smart contract. The executed order is broadcasted to Ethereum blockchain, and then the maker receives the fee in ZRX tokens. Like I said earlier, the protocol can buy and sell tokens automatically for dApps in the background, and anybody can use the protocol to create their own decentralized exchange and or become a relayer node. ZeroX smart contracts are also very useful because they can be used by ICOs for launch and distribution. So there's this really special thing called the wrapped ether or WETH in this whole system. And that's because only ERC-20 tokens could be exchanged in the ZeroX protocol as of right now. Ether, of course, is not an ERC-20 token, so it can't be used in the protocol smart contracts for swaps and orders. So in order to use Ether within ZeroX system, it needs to be wrapped. And so what that is, is that it's locked in a smart contract, requires a small gas fee, swapped for the WETH ERC-20 token one-to-one, -one, and it can now be used in the ZeroX protocol and supporting relayers for payment and trades. I do want to note that WETH cannot be used to pay for gas. So what about that ZRX token? What is its utility? Well, first of all, it's for payment of fees for orders filled by the second layer relayers network, the market makers. As you can imagine, if there's more orders, that means more fees are required and the demand will go up for the ZRX token. Secondly, it is required for the governance of the protocol development, aka voting for updates. There are several transitions and phases from the core team controlling this protocol to the community. The community will get veto power in roughly 2019, in which they can actually veto updates by the core team if they so choose. 
Also, liquid democracy goal in 2020 is for direct vote or delegated vote with possibility to take back and vote directly after all. Pretty interesting governance approach here. Now, what about their ICO that happened quite a while ago? Well, 1 billion tokens was issued, 50% was sold in ICO. They raised 24 million at 5 cents per token. Now it's roughly 70 cents, so 14x since ICO price. Other 50% is for a lot of stuff, the team, developer fund, early investors, advisors, and more. They sold out in about 24 hours to 13,000 unique token holders. With spending $0 on marketing and no private pre-sale whatsoever, currently they have released roughly 545 million tokens in circulation, and it's worth roughly 375 million in market cap at ranked number 24 overall. This is just a quick chart of the price action that Adrian from Bitcoin for Beginners made. And you can see all the ups and downs and the end is a little bit wrong. It says 75 cents on this chart, but actually it's about 70 cents now. So what about the team behind this protocol and project? Will Warren is the co-founder and CEO. He has a lot of experience with smart contracts R&D. The team started initially from six and now it's to 25 full members with a lot of tech experience like Google, Apple, Twitter, etc. They have very well-known advisors across the crypto space from Coinbase, Polychain, Pantera, PayPal, and more. The core team has vows to stay neutral and independent from the network participants, and they're focused on building the tech and ecosystem with little to no marketing or shilling whatsoever. They have a lot of big investors from across the crypto space, Polychain, FBG, Blockchain Capital, Pantera, and more. Now, in terms of the progress and roadmap, they've done quite a bit so far. Early in 2017, they released the alpha version on a private testnet, successful token sale afterwards, smart contracts on Robston testnet, first relayer on mainnet, Coinbase acquires Paradex wallets and DEX, which runs on their 0x protocol, listed on Coinbase just recently. And also in the future, they want to support other ERC token standards besides ERC20. If you didn't know, there's a lot of other ones out there. And also they want to have new phases of governance, like I mentioned in a few slides before. Now in terms of adoption, this is always important to take a look at for a project. They have 19 dApps committed to 0x, either already building on it or have been built on it, like Aragon, Augur, Maker, Request Network, 19 relayers like Ethphoenix, DDEX, Paradex, Radar Relay, Token Jar, three trade explorers like 0x Trade Viewer, 0x Tracker, and more. And just some competitive analysis, they're taking a different approach to decentralized exchanges like Ether Delta, IDEX, Kyber, because it's a protocol to build a DEX after all. And decentralized and centralized exchanges could benefit from increased liquidity via the shared order book from the 0x network. So if you think about the future of decentralized exchanges, one universally shared decentralized order book seems to be the future, and the 0x project seems primed and positioned to capitalize on that. Now, some of the pros for this project, a lot of partnerships, working product, recognized as a legit project, that's why I was listed on Coinbase, vital for the Ethereum token ecosystem because of the shared order book feature, it's an open source project, so less centralized. It launched its protocol before the token sale. It wasn't just a white paper with an idea. And also, if you think about it, more tokens and dApps could mean more demand for 0x. Could mean a higher price, maybe. Now, some cons. Well, it's only usable for Ethereum, so success depends heavily on the success of Ethereum as the token platform. It also depends on the success of Ethereum scaling approaches like sharding, Casper, etc. Because if 0x is popular and there's a lot of tokens and dApps using it, it can bring a high workload and therefore it can cause a lot of stress on the Ethereum network if it's not ready to handle it. Also, the only 10% of their tokens are invested for the four years. 40% of their 50 that wasn't for the token sale can be brought into circulation at any given time. So dilution of token supply is entirely unpredictable. Okay, so that's all folks. What do you think about the Zero X project? Do you like it? Do you not? Let me know in the comments below. I'll be sure to respond to you, I promise. And once again, if you can support me by smashing that like button and subscribing down below if you haven't already, I would greatly appreciate that. This is Kevin. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I'll catch you guys next time.